Hello and welcome once again everyone. After quite an extended wait, the new Tier 9 American Premium Cruiser USS Alaska has finally been added to the game for the price of 1 million free XP. Before I go to the highlights of my very first game in the USS Alaska, I'll quickly go over the ship upgrades and captain skills that help shape the core stats of the Alaska. Firstly, the upgrades main armament mod 1, damage control mod 1, aiming systems mod 1, propulsion mod 2, concealment system mod 1 and main battery mod 3. As usual I've gone with premium consumables but I must mention you do have some flexibility here. Here you have a choice between defensive fire and a hydroacoustic search and here you have three choices between radar, a fighter squadron or a spotter plane. So you can pick whatever suits your playstyle. On to the captain skills. I have initially chosen priority target, preventive maintenance, expert loader, adrenaline rush, basics of survivability. Due to the fact that fires will burn on Alaska for the same duration as on battleships. Basic firing training. Again you have a real choice here between superintendent for more consumables but it's really down to what server you play on uh, including the time of day you play at if you come up against a lot of CVs regularly. Advanced firing training. Here once again you have a choice if you feel proficient in maintaining focus to reinforce your sectors when favourable Go for manual fire control and finally concealment expert. So let's see what these upgrades and captain skills mean to the final ship stats. We get a health pool of 60,800. Not bad but almost 10,000 less than the Russian heavy cruiser at tier 9, the Kronstadt. We get three triple 305mm turrets with 19 kilometers of range, a 27% fire chance using high explosive with 15 millimeters of armor penetration. We get heavy US armor piercing rounds with increased angles of penetration that do almost 9,000 damage per shell. The typical US turret layout with two turrets in the front and one in the back Alaska has an AA defense rating of 68, with the mid-range AA looking particularly strong. It can be significantly strengthened, however, using AA modifications in the ship upgrades, but I'm going to run with it as it, as it is for the moment. We get a max speed of 33 knots, a turning circle of 850 meters, and a rudder shift time of 13 seconds. Alaska gets a detection range of 12.2 kilometers. By air it's 7.9 kilometers and your smoke firing penalty is 12.1. It's handy to remember here as it's virtually the same as your standard detection range from sea. Quickly before we start the main video I'd like to remind you I'm uploading content regularly to YouTube so if you want to keep in touch just follow the on-screen instructions. Update 0.8.1 brings a host of new changes, including the current map Shards, which has had a number of its islands repositioned. Time will tell how that plays out. We get changes to the radar and the flooding mechanics. And finally, we get the chance to play the USS Alaska for the very first time. Enemy team has two carriers, an Alaska also, and a Kronstadt division. So it's an excellent chance to test its metal versus its direct premium competitors at tier 9. Wargaming found it necessary to change my sound settings while upgrading the game audio, so if the game sounds a little odd at times I do apologise. Normally I would be a little bit apprehensive about approaching the sea cap from this side, but my friendly gearing is requesting support, he has a Fletcher with him and I've got a Neptune here close to me. I've noticed now that the gearing has put down a smoke screen 
and there is only one enemy battleship, the Conqueror, on the enemy team. So there is an absence of um, direct armor-piercing threat on the enemy team, barring the two Kronstads and the enemy Alaska. So I'm simply going to slip into the smoke screen and try and provide I just got detected just as I entered the smoke so there is a DD there within spotting range which does mean that if I fire my guns here in the smoke I will be detected but there is a broadside Alaska and that is a target I cannot refuse to shoot at there indeed is a destroyer in front and that Alaska was moving just a little bit faster than I expected. It is going to take a while to get used to these guns at long ranges. But I did I did two shell hits and no damage to that Alaska, which is quite disappointing. So I am going to move in slightly closer. He is making a turn. I will attempt to get another volley on him. If he continues that turn, he could be on target. Enemy team has taken the sea cap. Those shells are looking okay. Now we do 6,300 damage. I'm in quite a vulnerable position here now. I see there's destroyers directly in front and on my left. There's actually two destroyers on my left. And there's already a host of torpedoes coming from the left. I'm going to be forced to, forced to turn away here. Use my radar. You can see now the green icon above my ship. And a message goes off in chat. I just managed to juke those shells out by rapidly decreasing speed and turning quickly. But I was forced into that because otherwise I would have been sailing broadside to these torpedoes. I'm just going to keep sailing straight until these torpedoes pass us. We've already lost two ships. Neptune just exploded behind me. I see an enemy Charles Martel in the distance. Open fire. He is quite fast. And I've just under aimed again, it would seem. Although I do catch him with one shell for and for a citadel. And he goes down. And we get the first kill on the enemy team. There are quite a few destroyers in the islands in front of me, so I feel the need to reposition here. I've got the gearing in front of me. He's smoking up. I'm not quite sure what purpose that serves there at this point in time. I'm looking to go and engage these Kronstads in the middle. I've got my eyes on this guy. He's coming out. He seems to be sailing pretty much flat broadside. I'm just going to aim just above the waterline. There's a lot of my shells seem to be... He is turning in. I do get over 11,000 damage, which is quite respectable. I'm sure, quite sure that's after get getting his attention now. I'm just going to stay angled. His guns are still turned away. It does seem to be slowing down ever so slightly. Just keep my front guns on him. Turn on my anti-air. 3800. Enemy DD appears now as well. He does have his guns on me. I'm just going to give him an angle and turn in as he fires. Okay, that's quite nice. I managed to bounce all the shells. We can see now that I am radared, but we can see now the new icon for radar detection, enemy Assassio pops up. I still have AP loaded. Get a very nice hit on the Assassio, 4400. Focus him with my secondaries. And I need to angle away now because the enemy Alaska is coming around. Need to put the island between myself and that Alaska and focus on this enemy Kronstad, who does seem to be sailing out. He's flat broadside. Double Citadel, 21,000. Take out his engine. I'm just going to keep angling away. 
just need to fine tune my aim with these shells. This is still the first game, so it's going to take a while. This could somehow flash. Volley managed to land short. I'm not exactly quite sure how. Aiming right on the waterline to get at those front turrets. And they're just a little bit behind where I was aiming, but I still almost get 14,000. And the Wooster gets the kill. That's okay. It's gonna keep sailing away now. The enemy Alaska, I or the Kronstadt, is chasing me out. And I'm quite sure that the Assassio has been torping me at the same time. Kronstadt is showing broadside. He was forced to turn due to the airstrikes from the carrier. 6700. Torpedoes from the Assassio. Wasted torps on his part. I'm going to avoid them nonetheless. Our friendly Hakuryu takes out the Kronstadt. We are down five ships to four. I've got my eyes on the Alaska here. He is sailing broadside. These shells are looking good. Oh well. One penetration and one non-penetration for zero damage against a flat broadside target. The vast majority of those shells appear to fall short. Oh, that's annoying. I just lost target lock just as I fired. All of those shells missed. Enemy Alaska is spotted again. He seems to be reversing out. Gonna aim at the stern. He is still reversing slowly. He loses detection again. I got three penetrations. Eight thousand damage. He is moving forward now again. I'm just going to push in here. Slowly start turning to the right, I think. I'm kinda hoping this Alaska reverses back away from all these ships in front of him because he is being heavily focused. He is under a lot of pressure from our Wooster and Chapayev. And he is taking quite a bit of damage here at the moment. He doesn't seem to be reversing and he's reversing ever so slowly, I mean but not to a degree where he's going to come out and give me any kind of angle, at least not before he goes down, I suspect. Enemy destroyer is spotted. The Alaska goes down. We've managed to draw a level on ships. We've been trailing for quite a while. Enemy carrier is spotted. Enemy, enemy midway. Attention. Quickly put fire on him. I did have HE loaded for that destroyer. And it's virtually pointless uh, firing HE at carriers these days because of the their instant ability virtually to repair fires on the fly. I do suspect that there is a destroyer here in front of me somewhere. I am detected. He is in this area somewhere. There is the enemy Jutland. You can see now the pulse that is spread out across the water when a ship activates its radar. Got two shell hits. Take out his steering. Just going to keep pushing him in. He is going to try and t uh, to escape behind that island. Looks like the midway is going to come on, come for me. I turn on my anti-aircraft. <laughs> over 7,000 damage. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen planes go down very, very quickly. Now there are multiple 
destroyers in the smoke, there's a CV in the smoke. I'm gonna quickly turn away here. Sassio gets spotted. More planes in the air. Jutland is spotted. Got a quick round off on the Jutland. 2000 damage. The, our friendly Hakuryu manages to flood out the enemy midway. So, after 12 minutes, we've finally taken the lead. Just going to kite away because I do expect quite a few torpedoes coming from these destroyers. Get some shots off on the Utland. That will always help. I managed to knock out one of his torpedo tubes. Enemy Conqueror appears. Yotland gets undetected. Just going to slow my speed here. Throw off any potential torpedoes being aimed at me. Speed up again. Get a fire on the Conqueror. It is quite convenient now you get a notification in the chat when somebody on your team uses the radar. Enemy Yotland is spotted again. Shells off on him. Get a good solid hit. Chapayev manages to secure the kill. Enemy team down to three ships. Just going to continue to kite away. Enemy carrier spotted again. And just going to maintain focus on the Conqueror. The Conqueror is the main threat at the moment. I do have HE loaded. He's angled in. 5600 and the confederate we get a fire on the conqueror he, his guns are turned away so we now we can safely turn and finish this conqueror off and then pursue this carrier the enemy conqueror burns down just before i fired my salvo and now we're in prime position to win this game we have the majority of the cap points so i can go hunt down this last enemy carrier without little threat the USS Alaska feels strong. First impressions are important in any relationship and the Alaska feels powerful. The 35 second long 10 km radar to flush out and deal with destroyers. Very powerful armour piercing shells to deal damage against enemy cruisers and very strong high explosive armament with high fire chance and high penetrative power to deal with battleships and those pesky angle targets like the Stalingrad for example. Sure it's impossible to know a ship's limits and become immediately proficient in it but I really feel that with a little practice and getting used to these gun arcs and shell speeds that this Alaska has all the potential to become an extremely powerful and fun ship. I always tend to evaluate a ship in terms of whether it provides me the tools to turn the tide in my favour when I perform well in it and so far so good with the Alaska. The signs look good. Enemy Shukaku spotted. Load armor piercing, try and get some citadels on this guy. 13,000 plus in one citadel. Two overpens, two penetrations. He has started moving now. I will lose vision on this guy behind the island rather quickly. Another 8,200. He is going to get behind the island, that's quite unfortunate. Final shells hit the island. Just gonna have to turn in. Put some fire on these torpedo bombers. Another plane kill. Friendly Chapiev takes out the Shikaku. Friendly Chapiev has had quite a good game. Just the enemy Assassio now, and he has been spotted. There we have that radar effect once again. It's quite handy now to know when a friendly player has activated his radar. Shells out on the Assassio. They all spraddle his ship, giving his deck a good drenching. He's down to 478 HP. Don't take much to knock him out now. 
we have rocket planes pretty close to them that should spot them momentarily. There he is. He is turning in slightly. May have slightly under aimed. And the Chapayev didn't. Chapayev sealed us the final kill. And without being anywhere close to spectacular, we've done over 151,000 damage. We've got the Confederate achievement. And 2400 XP. We shot down 16 midway planes. Quite impressive for a first game. I hope you all have a ton of fun playing the Alaska and as usual I'd like to thank you all for watching. Feel free to check out some of my recent videos linked at the end and let me know in the comments what you think of the Alaska. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.